everybody, Chris, Four Directions Bushcraft, out here on a hike with my son. We got the Peterson's Field Guide to Medicinal Plants and Herbs, and I stumbled across some uh, some cactus. Um, now we, I haven't seen a lot of these in Missouri, of course, but um, along this uh, this state park that backs up to my land, we do have some, and they don't have any fruits on them this time of year. Um, they're all sort of dormant because uh, spring is just getting ready to to hit. But um, it's the uh, the prickly pear cactus, and uh, it is on the page 102 of my Peterson's field guide. And it says they grow to be about one foot. They're jointed uh, jointed pads, which they are. Uh, there's, I think all of the all of the spines have grown off of these now. They're still a little pointed, but they have jointed pads right here. And if I can get one of these off, I'll show them to you here in just a second. Uh, so they have jointed pads. They're usually sharp spined, large, showy yellow flowers. They're found in dry soils, uh, Massachusetts to, to Florida, it looks like, and Texas to Minnesota. It's our most common east, eastern uh, cactus. Uses uh, for them, American Indians uh, used to use the pult used to poulticed uh, the peeled pads. So they would, uh, they would chop up the peeled pads and crush them up. And um, peel them, crush them up, and put them on wounds. Uh, they applied the juices and fruits to warts. Um, it looks like they, it says they drank, uh, they drank them as a tea for lung ailments. Uh, in folk medicine, peeled the pads poulticed. That's kind of hard to say. Peeled pads poulticed. Uh, for uh, rheumatism, uh, chronic ulcers, and wounds. Um, so, you know, you can, you know, you're found in a, in a, find yourself in a survival situation, you can use these as many different things to heal your wounds. Um, you can also use these things as containers as well. Uh, when they're, when they're alive and, uh, when they're alive and well, and it's not uh, it's not winter time. You can cut these off, peel out the inside of them, and actually use them for a container. Some of the bigger ones. So uh, they're actually really really useful. Um, I've never tried any of that. I've never eaten any, but uh, we might experiment with these uh, as they grow. So here's those prickly pear little cactuses that I told you about. And right now, it looks like they don't have very many spines. They're kind of dormant now, but there's the combined pads that they have, like two and one. They, they join right here. And uh, you can crush them up. You can put them on your wounds. You can drink them as a tea. I haven't tried any of that, but uh, there's just a big patch of them. Growing right here in the middle of all these cedars. Right along the trail. That's the, uh, the prickly pear cactus. And uh, thanks for your views, comments, and support. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.